Hey everybody, uh, it's Organic Dairyman, and today is July 5th. Um, <clears throat> hope everybody enjoyed their 4th of July holiday yesterday. Um, like I say, in my video that I posted, it was kind of a slow day. Really didn't do too much, just kind of rested. But um, anyways, uh, today the sun is shining. Uh, it's drying out the dirt, so we're going to go back. i got to finish cultivating that one field, but... Um, as you can see, we, uh, we put a different cultivator on the track here because, um, the soil down on that field is kind of, uh, and the one end of the field, the one side of the field is kind of clumpy. And as you can see, these are these, um, these S-tine, um, cultivate or S-tine tines that we use for cultivating. It's just that there's the, the, the clumps and everything could fit through here better and it, it doesn't um, cause much problem like if you have excess weeds but we're just getting this thing uh, ready to go here um, I'm just kind of going kind of going over the thing here and like tightening up some of these things as you can see some of these things are kind of wiggling I'm just kind of going around and like this one here is really loose so uh, the biggest thing is these sometimes you have these things here they'll break we've had like a couple of them break last year and I don't know where in the world to get parts for this thing. This cultivator is, it is a cane cultivator. That's the, the name of it. Um, it was originally manufactured in, I don't know, in, um, I think it was, it's set on here someplace, but um, there's a place that used to say on here, but um yeah it's a cane cultivator it's not spelled cane like c-a-n-e it's spelled cane key or k-o-h-e-n that's how that's how you spell the name of it it looks like when you pronounce it, it looks like it's called cohen um but it's not it's pronounced cane they have a picture of a of a candy cane in there so just say cane on these um products they don't make um cane it was I think it was headquartered in Watertown, South Dakota. I think I think that's where it was headquartered, but now all they make is like sorting sticks, things for cattle. They don't make like regular farm equipment stuff anymore. So um so it's hard to get the part. They sold their division, their agriculture or their parts or their like tillage stuff to um a company called Lorenz. And that's the thing headquartered in uh, Benson, Minnesota. So um, I think that you could maybe still get parts somehow like like that. I obviously like these these S tines here. You see these you can pick up in any farm store like a a tractor supply company or our runnings that like we have here in the Midwest. That's a farm store. Most any farm stores you can pick up these S tines. Even these these shovels here you can pick these up any you know any most any farm store. But it's just, uh, you know, like the, the parts and stuff like this, like this here, you know, you can't get those. I don't, I, I just don't know where, but uh, we just had uh, a local guy, a welding guy, make some up for us. It's, it's just square tubing, and then you have some, like, uh, pipes in, like a pipe in there or something. I guess I can show you here quickly. Um, yeah, they're just like a square tubing and like that in there and you just weld the new pipe in there and you, you know they're not too hard to make up but what i'm doing yeah like right now here i am just in the process of i'm trying to tighten tighten up these things here um so that's what i'm doing here right now. um i just about got this one here tight these things are on here really really tight And so they got these, they got lock nuts. These lock nuts are kind of a bugger. Oh boy. They're not gonna come without a fight. Boy, that one's tight. Um, I tried using an, I tried using an air impact on it, and I can't even get it. But it's just that you gotta hold it right there on the very outside, and it is really tough. Um, 
but I cannot get this thing. Um, I might have to go get a one to go flying here. Boy. Oh, that is tight. Tight as a flea on a hound dog. I mean, this is tight. I got okay, you. I found a pipe here, a little extension, so I'm gonna try this. I'll brace myself in case I go flying, or so I don't go flying. Pretty darn tight. I got it. But it's, it's so tight that not even the air impact, uh, my air impact puts out a, like a thousand foot pounds of torque in reverse and it will not even bust this thing loose. Um, some WD-40 on there too and some of that special formula stuff and I did uh, that didn't need it help but okay that's a little bit better but uh, you know, just kind of thought I'd just show you Show you a little bit. But yeah, it's. Ooh. So I got to do both of these. On, like I got to do quite a few of these. Not all of them are, but yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's what I'm in the process of doing here, getting this uh, cultivator ready. Um, I guess sometimes like you gotta when you're organic and you're doing like cultivating this you gotta have a lot of different tools to control the weeds um, like I say it's just at the soil and that one side of the field this the south half of that field it's just really clumpy and it's just I could have cultivated with the other cultivator but I just have to go really slow to do it and this thing can go a little faster and you're not gonna you know it's not gonna hurt the corn it's just that it was the clumps were so bad it was pushing the corn over and I don't want to hurt the corn so I want to be able to go fast still do the job and not you know hurt the corn because you know we've got other things to do than going a mile and a half an hour or whatever so yeah but uh, yeah I'm gonna keep working on that on this and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll get back to you okay everyone um, I got the cultivator all ready to go. Um, I just had a, <clears throat> a little bite to eat and everything, so I'm going to go down there. Um, I did bring along a couple more s tines. We have some spare ones here, just in case I break an s tine when we go down to the field. So I am going to uh, head down to the field right now and start cultivating. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. up the wings oops wrong lever
I just kind of noticed that uh, the elevator, the back end, ain't digging down deep enough. So I gotta adjust the, uh, the top link. Um, you can see, like this one here, I just doesn't want to get down to the ground. I gotta set this top link so it, it tips. Um, yeah, so that it tips the elevator back, the back end, a little bit more. Um, I just thought that I had it set good enough, but I'm gonna have to set it. to dig down a little deeper. got done with this field elevating it and um, yeah it's, uh, ready to 
head back home with the collivator and then tomorrow we're gonna hopefully head over to the other bean fields and start cultivating that field and uh, yeah so it's a nice feeling it's a nice feeling to finally have finally have this whole field done <laughs> oh, thought I was never gonna get down with this field but I finally did it is it's a good feeling to finally be done with it so um yeah so yeah it's been a <clears throat> been a long day so I'll go back home and start chores again and start it all back over again tomorrow um i guess the good thing at least i didn't have any breakdowns today so um that was a good thing but yeah so anyways i think that's gonna be it for this video uh, i just want to thank everyone for watching um if you haven't hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button and uh please give this video a thumbs up if you like it um check out all my other videos uh check me out on instagram and twitter at organic Airman. and um yeah so uh yeah if you have any questions too drop a question down there in the comment section and i guess i will catch you later